car guys as you can see right here this is the load as i said this is laminated wood you can say you hate me you can call me crazy but don't touch my truck what's up guys welcome back to the channel as you know it's your boy trucker al right here and this is trucking with al instagram that's my instagram right here stanch revolution yeah stanch revolution instagram if you want to follow today man i'm back in the truck i am back in the truck as y'all can see man so we down here at, in miami um a couple of trucks right here ready to go all right guys so we got a couple of guys that came in today that guy in the black truck, he just pulling in. And another dude in the white truck um, just pulled in just now. So they're on their home time while I'm heading back out on the road. You know what I mean? My little vacation was nice. You know what I mean? I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was the first time I actually get a hotel by the beach. And it was relaxing. You feel me? But yeah, guys, it's time to go back on the road and make some money, man. It's time to show y'all some more of these loads that I'll be pulling out here. By the end of the day, man, it's all about getting your own, man. You know what I mean, using this platform to get your own business up. You feel me? So, yeah, guys, I just say, man, over here, over here, we got Kenworths, we got Volvos. As I say, there's a black Kenworth right here, there's a red one right here, and there's a yellow one right beside it. And we also got Peterbilt 570s. Yes, 579s. We got Freightliners right here. And it's all 2019, 2021. Wait, yes, 2021 trucks we got over here. I mean, all our trucks are pretty much brand new trucks. Um, they pretty much keep them up with maintenance. As you can see, they got their own shop. So we work on our own truck over here. So yeah, it's more convenient when we come home to know that we got a truck that's ready for the road. You feel me? Got another truck coming right there. I'm not sure if they took it on a road test or something, but he don't have a trailer. So yeah, guys. And as you can see right there, buddy is doing something on a computer to that truck. I'm not sure if he probably turning up the speed or turning it down. I don't know what he do. Yeah. Time to hit back the road, man. I got a load that I'm actually picking up in Delray Beach, Florida, and it's gonna be going to Lake Horn, Mississippi. So that should be interesting. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna be picking up, but I think it gotta be, I think it's like wood product. Cause I called the company earlier and I think it's some kind of wood product. I know they make like them strips that go on cabinets and stuff like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, guys. Um, I'll see y'all when I hit the road. You know I mean, I gotta head to Fort Lauderdale, pick the wife up, and then yeah. Finally heading back on the road, man. Finally heading back on the road. Hopefully, I got enough space over here to turn around for this truck right here. But yeah, guys. All these guys are about to leave. I'll come back in December. Yes, I'm coming back for Christmas. All right, guys, so we're finally rolling. I'm on my way to pick my load up and look what we have here. Got the Miss Daisy Love. All right, Joker fam, so I'm about to pull up to my next load. My very first load right after my vacay. I mean, I said I'm gonna be taking this one over to Lakehorn, Mississippi. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be picking up, but uh, it says architectural, so I'm guessing it's probably like three quarters of a mile. Turn right on like Northwest I mean. 17th Avenue. So we'll see. i 
nuts by the mist it's blowing through yeah. If you listen carefully now you will hear This could be the first trumpet Might as well be the last Many more will have to suffer Many more will have to die Don't ask me why In one quarter mile Arrive at 1175 Northwest 17th Avenue On the left Don't have tried to find answer to all the questions they ask though I know it's impossible to go living through the past I won't tell no lie hell yeah I'm good hell yeah I'm good pop that curve a little bit Hell yeah. You're gonna learn to drive like this one day, baby. One day, you're gonna be a pro just like Big Daddy Al, okay? Okay, love. All right, let me open these doors before I go any further. Okay, guys, so this is our dock right here. You know what I mean? So, okay. Oh, them damn trees in this door. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Woo! Alright. So, as you know, gotta slide the glue on your back. Hey. Alright, gotta slide this wheel. Alright. So yeah guys, we are picking up laminated wood. There we go, we good guys. We're in the hole, so I'll see y'all when I'm rolling. Woo! All right, peeps, so we are loaded and we're on our way to the Mississippis. All right guys, so what I got, I actually got, yes, laminated wood. Just a couple panels the only way. 19,000 pounds, you know what I mean? So I don't, I don't think I need to put it on a scale. No, I don't think I need to weigh it at all. But I don't know, I might, man. I might weigh it. Just to be sure. You know? You know what I'm saying? Better be safe than sorry, right? So, yeah. Okay, please go ahead that sign. Don't hit that, don't hit that eye drink. <laughs> Y'all better watch what you're doing out here, man. You just got to Turn left on the left side. Y'all going out here. You know what I mean? You don't want to hit nothing. Not even a sign. You know what I mean? Yeah, the point of being out here is to make money. Safe out here. Just don't hit nothing, nothing at all. And y'all be good. You know what I mean? Turn left so. at the traffic light. About <sighs> to get out of beautiful South Florida. You gotta miss South Florida, baby. Mm. Not really, really. That's crazy. Not really. That's crazy. I'm gonna I mean, miss the hotel. Okay. I'm going to miss South Florida I'm not gonna miss based anything. on the fact that I stay at a hotel. Yes, I'm going to miss the fact that I'm not going to be on the beach. Mm -hmm. Nor in the pool. You know what I mean? It is what it is, though. I go out and make that money, right? Yeah. All right, guys. As you can see right here, this is the load. As I said, this is laminated wood. And this pallet right here was actually in the middle of the trailer. It was like dead in the middle. And um, this shit slowed us. That shit slid all the way over here when I made a turn. So I'm gonna have to watch my turns. Make sure I make nice and easy turns. Since I can't really stop these from sliding all over the place. So yeah, if 
for who that that don't know what laminated wood is pretty much it's using regular wood or whatever they call this type of wood right here but this is the actual laminated part right here that they glued onto this so that's the pretty much lamination process it's pretty much gluing on like a fine layer which is the top piece onto the wood right here you know what i mean so it would look like it's a genuine piece but it's really not it's pretty much it's fake it's pretty much fake this right here is not real wood you know what i mean it's not like a real wood sheen it's pretty much plastic glued onto wood you know what i mean say yes guys that explains that and that's my load um it goes straight up you know what i mean it's only weighs nineteen thousand pounds you know so yeah i just hope it stays put because hey it's my first load back on the road since um my little vacation man so you know what i mean i can't have no damaged loads you feel me all right guys it's now dark i'm on my way to try to find a bargain for the night so what happened earlier after i got loaded the receiver promote gave me a call i thought it was going to give me like instructions how to get to the facility but pretty much he wanted me to come to their facility. He don't want me to unload at their facility, but he say he want them to add more product to my truck. And then he want me to take it to, I believe, Wisconsin. So we were just trying to find out how we can make that happen. So. That's not in my control, so I pretty much gave him the dispatcher number. So I don't know what they're gonna work out from that. I mean, if he's paying good enough and it makes sense, they probably might take it. So I think what happened is, I think it's a blind shipment. I mean, I'm gonna explain blind shipment in a minute. So pretty much, I think what he want me to do, instead of me dropping the load off there and him going to another broker to get another truck to pick the same load up back and drop it where it actually needs to go, you just want to you know, kill two birds with one stone. So most likely it's a blind shipment. You know what I mean? Because this product it's not really going to him. It's actually going to another receiver. So, as I said, a blind shipment, that's when you don't want the actual receiver to know where you're getting the product from. So pretty much, the receiver where it's actually going, think the product is coming from him, but it's actually not. He's getting the product a third party company right so that's called a blind shipment pretty much the actual shipper doesn't know where it's really going and the actual receiver doesn't know where it's actually coming from all right so that's blind shipment so most likely when i get to his facility he's gonna switch paperwork right you're gonna switch the paperwork to make the product look like it actually is coming from him so that's what blind shipment is so yeah that's what i might do i might just go there and they switch the paperwork and then actually bring the load somewhere else you know what i mean but I don't know yet. It's up to my dispatcher. I don't know what agreements they're going to make. I don't know if she's going to agree to it. So we'll see. But yeah, guys, I'm going to actually do a part two to this video because I do not want my videos to be too long. So I'm actually.
want to do a part two to this video. All right, guys.